Emily and Luke are at a big party, celebrating Luke's uncle's wedding. However, instead of joining in the festivities, they're wrapped up in their own world, deeply in love with each other. They slip away from the party for some privacy in a restroom. There, they share a hot intimate moment. But then, something surprising happens. While they're lost in their moment, an object falls from Luke's pocket. Startling Emily, she picks it up, and it turns out to be an expensive engagement ring. Right then and there, Luke proposes to Emily, and they're both excited about getting married soon. Emily can't wait to tell her mother the good news, but Luke doesn't do the same with his parents. The next morning, as they are getting ready for work, a shocking thing is revealed. Their relationship is still a secret to most people. This is because they both work at the same corporate investment company, and the company policy strictly forbids colleagues from engaging in romantic relationships. On top of that, Emily and Luke are also professional competitors in the company. To keep things under wraps, they hide their relationship from their colleagues and bosses. However, once work hours are over, they get home and share an apartment. And just when things couldn't get more interesting, a new development unfolds at their fiercely competitive investment firm. During a meeting they attend, the current portfolio manager of the company loses control and goes into a rage, smashing computers and other equipment in his office. He's been fired instantly, and this kind of thing isn't all that rare in this workplace. The meeting goes on as planned, but things take an interesting turn. Emily overhears two analysts chatting about who will be the next portfolio manager. Office Gossip points out that it will be Luke who will be the next portfolio manager. Emily quietly shares the secret with her boyfriend, and they celebrate in a passionate way back at their apartment. But good times don't always last. Emily gets a late-night call from a colleague, and despite Luke's objections, she rushes to the meeting spot. This is the first time Luke reveals misogynist behavior, as he suspects the late-night call from their colleague is an attempt to get close to Emily. She manages to convince him and heads to the restaurant, only to find it's not her colleague, but the boss of the investment firm, Campbell. Right on the spot, Campbell drops the bombshell. Luke isn't highly valued as an employee, and it's Emily who's being considered as the next portfolio manager. Emily accepts the offer but has doubts about how her boyfriend will react. When she returns, Luke questions her about what happened at the meeting, and his initial reaction reveals his state of mind. The unexpected promotion for Emily, which her boyfriend Luke had hoped for, becomes the gap that drives them apart. It heavily puts a strain on their relationship. Luke had been working at the firm for a while, and upon hearing office rumors about his promotion, he started believing he'd already been offered the role. His confidence in how this promotion would change their lives, even before it was official, reveals a lot about his character. As the story unfolds, Luke slowly reveals himself as self-centered, not considering those around him. Sadly, Emily begins to exhibit this trait as well, as she never considers the possibility of her receiving the promotion, despite their similar tenure at the office. Luke doesn't even entertain the idea that his girlfriend might be qualified for a promotion. His expressions show surprise and disbelief when Emily breaks the news to him. However, he still managed to utter the word congratulations, masking his true feelings. He openly claims not to be envious or disappointed by Emily's success, which makes him seem insincere. Emily notices this and observes a gradual change in Luke's behavior over the following days. She cares enough to ask him what's troubling him, but Luke doesn't open up. Emily gets a sense that something's been bothering Luke and promises to help him secure the next big promotion. She tries her best to persuade Campbell about Luke's hard work and intelligence when it comes to predictions, but her suggestion is swiftly dismissed by the boss. In recent times, Luke's track record at work hadn't been great. His investments led the company to lose money, making Campbell hesitant to trust him. Meanwhile, back at home, Luke started growing more distant from Emily, especially in their intimate moments. He seemed disinterested in such activities. Emily did her best to uplift him and support him, but Luke became closed off. In an attempt to excel at work, Luke began reading books by his favorite business coach. At first, it seemed like he was trying to boost his ego and regain confidence to use it positively. However, it soon became evident that Luke was still trying to belittle Emily due to his feelings hurt by her success. For instance, he suddenly told Emily that she needed to present herself more authoritatively at work. According to him, her current appearance and behavior made her seem too accommodating and easily taken advantage of in professional situations. Over time, Luke continued to make such statements and assumptions that painted him as a dedicated follower of a somewhat sexist and somewhat misogynistic self-help guru who probably has a podcast. Later in the film, when Emily accidentally disposed of the notes Luke had been taking from his favorite author's business books, he becomes furious and throws a tantrum. Feeling deterred by her boyfriend's lack of romantic enthusiasm, Emily starts socializing with her senior colleagues from the company. One night, she goes out, gets drunk, and overspends at a club after earning a substantial commission at work. The next day, Luke overhears her colleagues discussing this, 
and he starts to suspect that she might be cheating on him. He even thinks that her promotion might have something to do with it. He thinks that Emily seduced Campbell to secure the promotion. Meanwhile, Luke's professional performance isn't exactly outstanding either. Despite Emily's best efforts to help him, he keeps missing opportunities. He purposely makes poor choices to improve his image in the office. Emily tries to convince their co-workers to invest in a business that Luke believes will thrive, but his assumptions turn out to be completely wrong. The business suffers significant financial losses due to the wrong choice. Emily manages to recover the money through other investments, but she begins to lose faith in Luke's professional abilities throughout the process. As the events progress, Luke becomes more problematic to the firm, resorting to name-calling and demanding that Emily talk to Campbell about his promotion. When Emily asks for an apology for his behavior, Luke dismisses her, refusing to acknowledge any wrongdoing. The events tainted their relationship more. Emily's earlier efforts to mend their connection don't seem to work, and Luke decides to take matters into his own hands. When another portfolio manager is let go at the office, Luke approaches the boss and pleads for a chance to become the new project manager. He does so in a rather tactless and ignorant manner, believing that pleading at his boss's feet will earn him the role. He even goes so far as to literally kneel down and bow in front of his boss to secure the position. However, despite stepping down his ego, the plan doesn't work out. Campbell dismisses Luke, which sends him into a complete mental breakdown. After being apart from Emily for a few days, Luke shows up at the office disheveled and intoxicated, causing a scene at the firm. He reveals to everyone that he and Emily had been having an affair for the past two years, even though it was against the company rules. He then quits his job, while insulting Campbell in the process. In an even more shocking twist, Luke shows up at the engagement party organized by Emily's parents, despite their relationship being long over by now. At this party, things take a nasty turn. Luke claims Emily is like those toxic guys who smirk and suggest that women succeed at work through relationships implying she got the promotion from an intimate relationship with Campbell. After this public confrontation, the couple have a private argument, which escalates dramatically. Luke forces himself on Emily in a sexual act, despite her clear requests for him to stop. It seems like a desperate attempt on her part to salvage their relationship. However, Luke does not see his actions as great and tries to justify it as intoxicated lovemaking. As it turns out, Luke is not the only toxic and abusive male in Emily's life and surroundings. When Emily makes a mistake at her job, leading to financial losses for the company. Campbell doesn't hesitate to use derogatory language, calling her an insulting term. Similarly, a superior had previously admitted to being overly strict with her to push her to excel in her job. In a way, the film paints a picture of the modern corporate world as exploitative and fiercely competitive. Emily and Luke's relationship appears to have always been one-sided, with Luke expected to excel both in life and his career. However, when these expectations crumble, their relationship starts to deteriorate. It's also worth considering that Emily's promotion, possibly influenced by her gender, could be seen as a way for the company to maintain a certain level of submissiveness, as it's often expected from female employees compared to their male counterparts in such workplaces. In Emily's journey, she confronts sexism in both her personal and professional life. These experiences push her to a breaking point, causing her to lose her sense of right and wrong. As Fair Play reaches its conclusion, Luke is packing his bags, ready to start a new business venture in San Francisco. When he arrives home, he seems rather self-assured about this new chapter in his life. Instead of offering any apologies, he appears to be there to boast about how much better off he's without Emily. This infuriates Emily, and she reaches a breaking point. In a fit of anger and frustration, she takes a knife and stabs Luke a few times. Emily threatens him that if he doesn't repent, she will do more than that. Luke, now in a vulnerable state, apologizes to Emily and asks for another chance in her life. However, Emily has had enough and insists that Luke clean up his own blood from her apartment floor before leaving. The film Fair Play concludes with Emily dropping the knife on the floor with a sigh. This suggests that while she may be overwhelmed by her sudden and unexpected actions, she is finally satisfied after standing up to the toxic nature of her ex-boyfriend. What did you guys think of the movie? Isn't it odd that if a woman were to get a promotion over their significant other, the man would feel emasculated. Do you guys have differing thoughts? Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.